Jack, does Clint Capella impress you? Yes, he does. He doesn't ask for the ball. Great role player. Still plays hard, runs the floor. And the guards do a great job of rewarding big men that protect him. You know, a lot of times, you know, the guards get beaten, but he's right there. You know, he has a great Hakeem Olajuwon in his ear, teaching him stuff. You see him being like the Kimber right there, but he's very active around the board, great shot blocker, and he's doing his job. You know, they ask him, hey, block shots. When you block shots, you run. You run, we'll get you the ball. He gets a lot of drop-offs. Very impressive. He's the right fit for that team. The Harden-Paul combo, why has it worked? I think they complement each other well. Um, I think when James is off the floor, I think CP can be the general that he is and run a team. Um, and I think they can both take pressure off each other. When you have great players next to each other, and um, you know it's not as much um, of onus on you to make a play when it's when it's time to make a play. Um, you can take turns. It's like you go, then I go, and then I go, and then you go. The uh, <laughs> the Rockets, Chuck. It just seems like as that game wore on, uh, they let down a bit. Utah got back in it. Um, they wasn't gonna win. I, yeah. It's interesting you showed that picture right there. Of those two guys, because I'm looking at that next matchup. Uh, it's it's going to be a great matchup. We know that we're going to be no, there, I, baby. I know. I can't wait to go there. But I'm, you going? You, you, you going to you going to Golden State or are you going to Houston? No, we're going both. To, we're going to both. Going we to travel both. for the. We okay. swap, uh, alternate every year. We got the West this year, so we're going where all the fun going to be. <laughs> but there are some interesting, great, great matchups. Mm -hmm. I mean, Steph Curry against Chris Paul, Clay Thompson against James Harden. Yeah. I mean, that, that's must-see. Uh, but I give Daryl Murray credit. You know, you, you ask Victor why that works. The Rockets, to me, uh, they're like a Villanova, Ernie. They have the best spacing in the NBA. And Victor knows this. He's a great player. You can't guard James Harden or Chris Paul one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, James Harden is the guy who makes it go. And one of the problems in the NBA today, they make it easy for guys like that. Because they, the NBA today has become a switcher's league. And I know, if, and Kenny talks about it, and Victor's, every time you see a big guy guarding you, you think it's barbecue chicken, aren't you? Oh, yeah, lamb chops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to back that thing out, and I'm coming at you full speed. But, but it, that's why, that's one of the reasons teams help the Rockets. Daryl's done a great job getting those shooters. They spread the floor. But the way the league is now, you see every time Rudy Gobert try to guard Chris Paul or James Harden, it is like barbecue chicken. So uh, that, to me, is going to be a very interesting, because the Rockets switch everything also. Mm -hmm. it's, to me, it's going to be who take about take up the mismatches in that series. But, it's, I mean, this is all, you mentioned Daryl Morey, this is all about how do I construct a team that can beat the Golden State Warriors and get to the NBA Finals. Do you think Houston has what it takes to beat Golden State four times? Um, honestly, I do. I do. I, I mean, I play both teams, and... Um, they're very similar, very similar in, the, in their style of play. And I think Houston, when they get hot, they have enough firepower to match up with the firepower of Golden State. Um, uh, if I had to choose who would win the series, I'd probably pick Golden State right now. Um, but I think it'll be a great series. I think it'll go seven games.